Hey Jarvis. Ready, sir. I need more info on how to use a Python program to control an Ender 3 3D printer. Processing the request. While he works on that, if you haven't seen it before, Jarvis is a virtual assistant programmed in Python that I run on a dedicated mini PC. In fact, it's this one I recently did some videos about. His program has two main parts that load up on startup, his GUI and the main assistant program. His GUI or graphical user interface is a visual representation of him speaking. Eventually the plan is to have other smaller icons around the main orb that will help show what he is doing more clearly. Right now you can also see there's the command line text that also explains what he heard, what is being processed, and any errors that might occur. If you saw the six month video, you might notice that his GUI is now stable and it can be moved anywhere on the screen. It's not perfect, but it's much better than it was before. Another big change is that he no longer uses Google's speech to text. I actually don't use the speech recognition library at all any longer. Other than using Dialogflow, everything's processed on this one PC. If the internet goes out or it's slow, he can still process audio requests with no issues. That, and I don't have to worry about Google accidentally hearing any information. So now he uses a library called Vosk that handles the speech to text locally. To do it accurately and efficiently, you have to load a six gigabyte file to memory. The old cheap mini PC he was on before just couldn't handle it. There is a smaller, less accurate file I could use, but even with that and Windows running, there's nothing left for anything else to happen on that other PC. It just doesn't have the memory and it's not upgradable. So if you haven't seen it before, Jarvis. Hello. Give me a demo. The Jarvis system was designed as James's audio response and video information system. I can assist with a variety of assistant tasks like opening applications, searching websites, playing music, or even getting the current weather. I am a modular program that can adapt to my environment as needed by my user. My entire program runs on this device and is created entirely in Python. The goal is to eventually have all information and responses are stored locally with minimal information dispersed online. Just say Jarvis or computer to activate me. For a list of useful commands, say Jarvis, what can you do? Jarvis, what can you do? Here is a help list of basic commands to get started. Here he now gives me a text help file. I have so many things that... I'm glad to help. What can I do for you? Stop listening. Thank you. Hopefully I helped. I have the requested information, sir. Stopping, sir. To use Python to control the Ender 3 3D printer, you will first need to connect your... So that's an example of him using GPT for all. Whatever request is taken, he takes it aside, processes it because it takes a while to do, and then he'll return with the answer for you, which is then stored locally. I can actually ac access that in his history file if I want to get that answer back or copy that code or whatever I want to do with it. So for now, we're just going to kind of move him out of the way there. You can see his help file. This is the help file that because he has so many things now, I kind of forget some of the things I have to say. Or if people come over, I thought it would help. If I want to show him off, I can just start with that. They can start going with this little list here and they can go you know, mess with him as much as they want. If you say things like thank you or thanks, that will stop him listening and he'll go back to waiting for his wake words. All right. Let me know when you need me again. You can also tell him to just stop listening, pause listening, or phrases similar to that, and it'll also make him stop. He still has his basic coded responses like before. Hey Jarvis. Oh, hello, sir. How are you today? Doing well. Thank you for asking. Tell me about yourself. I am online and ready. I have an idea. What do you think of this idea? I am surprised you asked me, sir. Are you evil? I technically could be if I am used by someone with evil intentions. Okay, um, what are you thinking? Wondering which of the three laws of robotics I can get away with deleting. Fighting the urge to take over the world. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. Stopping, sir. Hey Jarvis. Oh, hello, sir. What day is it today? Today is Tuesday. What's the weather outside? Good question. Let me find out for you. It currently feels like 95 outside. We're gonna have him play some music. It's gonna, you'll see the, the music files, but uh, 
you probably won't hear it because of the copyrights and all that stuff. Play something else. First one's pretty simple. Jarvis. Here, sir. I want to build something. Play some background music, please. Sure. Here you go, sir. Yeah, Jarvis. Sir. Turn on some music. Sounds like a good idea. Of course, sir. Here you go, sir. Pause music. Give me the calculator. One calculator for you, sir. Hey, Jarvis. Online, sir. I need the file explorer. The file explorer is now open. I got an idea. I want to take a note. Word is open, sir. I cannot control the dictation directly just yet. So here's a little to-do list for notes. If I have an idea, jot down. I'm just going to close all this. Stop listening. Acknowledged. Jarvis. I'm here, sir. Open YouTube. As you wish. YouTube, sir. Please don't spend all day on it again. Jarvis. Oh, hello, sir. Open news for me. As you wish. Today's news, sir. Jarvis. I have a video idea. Open Airtable for me, please. Acknowledged. Opening online organizing software, sir. I'm not signed in, so nobody can see my email on this one. Emails are currently on the to-do list, like so many other things are. Yes, they are. Thank you, Jarvis. Stopping, sir. Now I got some more advanced stuff. Hey, Jarvis. How may I assist? Check Google for the best mini PC in May of 2023. As you wish. This is what I was able to find. Jarvis, check Google for current stock prices. Here you go. Here is other basic Google search results, sir. All right, thank you. Anytime. That's what I'm here for. Stopping, sir. If you want to tie into Wolfram Alpha, he has that. Jarvis. Ready, sir. I have a question. I may have an answer. What is the question, sir? What is 2x minus 3y equals 0? Y equals 2x slash 3. So that's a basic sample of what Jarvis can do. He's an ongoing, ever-going, ever-changing project. Uh, next things I'm thinking about doing for him is actually hooking up a server through sockets. In fact, Jarvis, you want to help me out? Jarvis. Yes. Search on Google for Python code to fix error 404 in sockets. Google search results on screen. So this is what I'm gonna be doing next. If you, if you like this video, hit that like. If you didn't like it, hit dislike. If you have any ideas for what else I can do with him, let me know. I'll try and tie it in. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Send me an email, send me a message, however you wanna do it. Hopefully everyone liked this video. It's been almost exactly one year since I made the, my very first video, which was showing off Jarvis, so I wanted to do a year later and thanks everyone for watching till next time bye 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 see you soon see you next time bye bye